presentation will focus on the requirements and particular features of the patent granting procedure in the territory of the CIS and of the Eurasian Patent Office. The so-called CIS region includes 12 member states, which are Russia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Moldova, Belarus, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Armenia, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Kyrgyzstan. There are two procedures to patenting an invention in the CIS. One, through the national offices. Two, through the Eurasian Patent Office. The EAPO, or the Eurasian Patent Organization, is one of four internationally recognized intergovernmental organizations in the field of regional patenting. The Eurasian patent system allows you to protect the rights to inventions on the basis of a common Eurasian patent, which is in force in the territory of eight CIS countries. It should be noted that the Republic of Moldova was party to the Eurasian Patent Convention from the 16th of February 1996 until the 26th of April 2012. This table shows the language requirements in the different jurisdictions. Ukraine, Georgia, Armenia and Moldova require that national patent application materials be filed only in the national language. However, the other countries accept applications in both languages, national or Russian. The Eurasian office with its eight participating countries established a single working language, which is Russian. This option significantly decreases expenses for patent translation. Let's take a look at the stages of patent application prosecution at the national patent offices. Formal examination. The formal examination stage involves filing application materials, payment of official fees of filing the application, substantive examination. This stage involves filing a request for conducting the substantive examination, payment of official fees for the substantive examination, registration. At this stage, the official fees for publication and granting of the patent must be paid. The Annuity Fees System After obtaining a patent, it should be maintained for each following year of validity. Also important are certain details regarding the stages of Eurasian Patent Application Prosecution. After the application has been filed directly by the applicant or through a patent attorney, the application is forwarded to the administrative office where it is checked for compliance with formal requirements. If all the requirements have been adhered to, the application goes to the examination, upon completion of which a division of three examiners issue either a decision to grant or a refusal to grant the patent. If the decision to grant the patent is given and the relevant official fees for patent granting and publication have been paid, then the Eurasian patent will be published and issued. The necessary fees and documentation at the AEPO are examination, Filing of application materials including the description, claims, drawings in Russian, as well as the power of attorney executed by the applicant. Payment of official fees for filing a Eurasian application, as well as the official fees for the substantive examination, which must be paid simultaneously. Registration of the Eurasian application. As soon as the decision to grant a patent for an invention is issued, the payment of official fees for the registration and issue of the patent should be made. Annuities Fees System After obtaining the patent, the applicant can choose which of the EAPO member states he intends to maintain the patent for each following year of validity. The maintenance fee must be paid annually. This and the next three slides will demonstrate the time frame during which the substantive examination of the application for an invention must be requested, along with some particular features of national legislation concerning the examination. The most common case is when the Patent Office examines the application at the request of the applicant, a request which may be filed at any time within three years from the filing date. Such timeframes are functional in Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Russia, Belarus, and Ukraine. In Georgia and Kazakhstan, the substantive examination should be requested after a positive decision on the formal examination has been received from the Patent Office. For Georgia, this is within two months, 
and for Kazakhstan within three months from the receipt of the notification on a positive decision. Turkmenistan and Armenia have the longest timescale for requesting a substantive examination, which are five and seven years from filing date. If a request for a substantive examination is not filed before these deadlines, the application shall be considered abandoned. Let us now consider the following group of countries, Kyrgyzstan, Azerbaijan, and Moldova, in which the timescale for filing a request for a substantive examination is 18 or 30 months. It should be noted that in Kyrgyzstan and Azerbaijan, the patent can be issued at the responsibility of the applicant without a request for the substantive examination. The Eurasian Patent Office provides two terms during which the request for a substantive examination should be filed. One, for entering PCT applications into the regional phase, the examination must be paid for and requested during the filing of the application. Two, for filing Eurasian applications for inventions directly, the examination must be requested within six months from the date of publication of the application. There are a number of options in respect of the prosecution of the application. If the PCT application being submitted to the regional phase has ISR, and if said ISR was conducted by the Russian Patent Office, the discount on official filing fees is 40%. As is common knowledge, the number of PCT with ISR is approximately 90%. If the PCT application being submitted to the regional phase has ISR, and if said ISR was conducted by international search authorities, the discount on official filing fees is 25%. The number of PCT without ISR is approximately 10%. There are no discounts on filing fees for these applications. For national applications submitted to the EAPO directly, the official fees should be paid in full. It is common knowledge that a patent is valid within 20 years from the date of filing of the application. However, some jurisdictions provide for the possibility of its extension. This slide shows all the cases where a patent may be extended in each country. Pharmaceutical preparations. In 11 CIS countries, except Tajikistan, the validity of a patent may be extended, but not for more than five years for such objects of the invention as pharmaceuticals, the use of which require authorization from a competent agency. Eight of the aforementioned countries provide for extension of term for agrochemicals, and only four countries provide for extension of term for pesticides. The list of countries are available in the slide. The following are patentable items. Methods of Diagnosing Diseases Surgical and Therapeutic Methods for Treating Human and Animal Bodies Swiss Type Claims The type of claim targeted to protect the use of an invention. To this type of claim also applies claims known as the Swiss Type and Use Type. Grace Period in the CIS The grace period foreseen for industrial property objects such as inventions and utility models in cases of public disclosure for the CIS countries, can mainly be divided into two types of conditions. 1. The application should be filed with the Patent Office within 12 months after the date of disclosure of information. This is in the case of Azerbaijan, Belarus, Armenia, Georgia, Kyrgyzstan, and Ukraine. 2. The application should be filed with the Patent Office within 6 months after the date of disclosure of information. This is in the case of Russia, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Moldova, and the EAPO. This shows the number of PCT national phases designated to the EAPO from countries of origin in the period of 2014 to 2017. This slide shows that the highest number of applications were filed in such industries as medicines, organic chemistry, biochemistry, agriculture. These industries are prevalent in targeting on Eurasian markets. This slide demonstrates the dynamics of applications which were filed to the EAPO in nine years. It should be noted that 76.4% of EAPO applications are filed through the PCT procedure. 
Thank you for your attention.